Hello, this is Asadic, and uh, this is a replay file from uh, the last league race that I was in on Thursday. Um, I figured it would be more interesting than uh, me sitting in the pits uh, talking about all these apps, which is what I'm really here to do. I'm here to uh, talk about all these various apps that I have on screen. Um, I make video. I make applications, make these Asset of Course apps, and then I post up videos about them. And sometimes people comment about, you know, why do you have all that crap on your screen? Why? Are, why? Do, what is all this nonsense? Like, what are you doing? You can't possibly be looking at all that. And it's true. I can't possibly be looking at all this. But I'm gonna um, go down this list and uh, discuss a little bit uh, why these specific apps are on my screen, and maybe why some other ones are not. So, um, the tires app, uh, built in a set of course app. I don't load, I don't run very many of them. I think it's just three actually, now that I'm looking. Um, but the tires app I, I do really like. Um, it gives me a really good indication of my tire temps. So I can sort of just visually kind of look over. And it's not working now because um, some of these apps don't work properly in replay in a replay uh, session and it's unfortunate but whatever uh, we won't see them working but we still see them on the screen um, this has a really good indicator for you know are the tires hot cold you know did I really like overheat the tires are they glowing red because if so I probably need to be a little bit a little bit easy on them especially in corner entry um, and uh, if you like you know skid a tire too much it'll flicker at you and it's, that's it's a really good indicator that hey you need to be cool you know let the tire settle down before you like really you know ask too much of it so I do like the tires app um, uh, the pedals app I use that mostly in replays if I'm trying to analyze uh, my performance you know I'm trying to figure out okay what am I doing with my inputs around this turn uh, this doesn't make sense so I mean, a lot of times you sort of look at this data in a MoTeC um, analysis window, but it's nice to be able to see it while you're watching yourself driving. So that's kind of nice. Okay, the track map. Um, I, <clears throat> I can't give a good explanation, but I don't like Helicorsa, and I know a lot of people use it and love it and I just don't and anyway uh, but if I have a, an off type of situation I need to know if it's safe for me to re-enter the track um, so that's what mostly I use the track map for is I you know I sort of like if I'm off I look over here and I see what's going on um, and I know when it's safe to rejoin the track description um, again, I don't look at this very much, but I am trying to learn what all these names are. There's a lot of names to learn. So I like having that thing on the screen where I do have a chance to like kind of look over and go, oh, Carincio, or however that's spelled, said. Um, performance Delta. Um, I do run the Performance Deltas. Um, this is the regular Performance Delta that's based off of time. This is the time delta. So my lap time to this position on track versus my previous best lap time to this position on track, um, irregardless of what my final lap time ends up being. Um, I reference this thing mostly during my practice sessions, you know, and uh, the NAGP, we run endurance races, so there'll at least be a pit stop in the middle somewhere. So we're running maybe like uh, like an hour and a half race with a pit stop in the middle somewhere. Um, and so I'll try to put in, you know, maybe three or four full stints in that week leading up to the race, just so I get more familiar with the track and figure out, you know, what I can get away with. And these performance deltas are really good, you know, when you're trying to figure out what to do in certain corners, you know, did that help? Did it hurt? You know, and having a real time feedback of, you know, did that make my lap time better? Yes or no? Um, it's definitely beneficial. 
I don't look at it as much during a race because I try not to get distracted because um, I really need to sort of like be in the zone. But the beauty of you know the coloring, the color schemes that we have going on here, is that you know you can be looking at your apexes, but still recognizing what's happening with the apps. Like okay, that's red. I'm not looking at it, but I see it's red, so that wasn't a very good exit. And over here, I'm seeing okay, that is now turned green, yellow, okay, I'm kind of down a little bit, so I'm not not doing as well, but I've got this guy behind me, he's kind of pressuring me. Um, is this where I overdrive? No, okay. Uh, so my gear indicator, uh, it's the same sort of thing, like I don't look at it, but if I'm looking here, I can still read it. And I like having the gear really nice and big, um, just so I can keep track of it um, I can't keep that number in my head as I'm driving. I'm just too busy thinking about other stuff. So having that visual indicator there, uh, I really appreciate it. The KMH Delta, again, this kind of goes in with the time Delta. This is purely speed based, but it's just an, a different way of comparing my current performance on track to my previous best performance or whatever. It's, it's actually tracking fastest. But, you know, going into a turn, fastest might not actually be better. So, you got you know, got to figure out how to read it properly. And <clears throat> the data in here is not going to be all that super accurate because it's a replay. Um, and there may be some tweaking of the interpolation logic to be done as well. I'll have to maybe look at that. Um, the local time, this is just so I can keep track of, like, what time is it in the real world. So I don't lose track of time and forget to do stuff or stay up too late um, the shift light uh, it's actually more of a shift bar um, I've covered up the shift lights of the Corvette um, with the with this bar just because I don't want to see all of that stuff going on I just want kind of like a, a Pavlovian sort of like turn red shift turn red shift and I don't always shift when it turns red you know, sometimes I'll ride that into certain corners but I just like having that type of indicator as opposed to the uh, the lights that light up uh, fuel usage it's not working right now but um, the fuel usage will show me my liters per lap that I'm using uh, which helps me figure out how many liters I need for a stint uh, when we're doing these endurance races. It'll also, if, as I get closer to the end of the stint, if I'm getting to the point where I'm almost going to run out of fuel, it'll give me an indicator, and it'll tell me exactly how many laps I can complete with the fuel load that I have in the car, which is super handy. You know, like, if I'm, you know, I got like another half a lap to go, but I've only got, you know, a f you know, four tenths of a, a lap worth of fuel. I gotta really start conserving, but you should never get in that position because um, it'll tell you far in advance. You know, when you get down to like you got two laps to go, you know, it'll turn yellow and warn you and stuff. So I like having that there. Uh, the pick and fig. Um, this is for, normally I set up different strategies in here. This race I didn't have different strategies because for some reason I just didn't think I would need them. When Thankfully I did not. I um, guess the only different strategy, like this is basically a full stint of fuel with full repairs. Uh, and then this one is, uh, you know, okay, I don't really need a lot of fuel, but I do need some repairs done. And this is where I messed up my my corner and lost four seconds in four positions. You're welcome, guys. Um, pick and fig. Slip HUD. The slip HUD's not working right now, but um, this will show me uh, the individual tires will turn red if I, you know, uh, ask too much of them and they start to uh, slide too much 
um, which so it's nice to see, you know, under braking or under cornering, if you know tires are being overworked, it'll show that. It doesn't work in the replay, so, but it does work um, to try to like figure out optimum braking into corners, and then um, optimum slip angle around corners. And again, I don't look at it constantly. Just I'll sometimes try to notice it, um, especially if I'm working on a particular corner and trying to figure out, you know, what can I get away with? It, it sort of helps me figure that out. And then the steering input, um, this thing, uh, it's nice for watching replays because I don't have the steering wheel on my screen, uh, but I still get to see what my steering inputs are. And if the car is sitting still, and the steering wheel's not centered, it'll turn red. So it's a good indicator that, like, hey, you need to center up your steering wheel before you put the power down, or you're probably going to go in a direction you don't expect. Um, so, yeah, that is all my apps that I run, and then why I run them. So hopefully this helps somebody think that I am slightly less crazy than they thought before.